Hi, Builder Rick here. I've completed the repair on my truck camper, which was the broken jack, which you can see right behind my shoulder here. It was pulled off because um, I forgot to make one disconnection when I when I was trying to take the truck camper off the truck when I was up in uh, Sydney, Montana. So I have one thing that I'm going to apologize for right away and that's the fact that I actually shot this video when I was doing the repair in vertical mode so it's going to be a little bit uh, skinny but uh, the point was to show you the repair not the rest of the surrounding so that's why I did it that way and I unfortunately forgot how bad that really looks on YouTube but uh, for this video that's the only way I can do it because I'm not redoing it again so anyway uh, enjoy this video and like and subscribe for me thanks okay so I'm here at the back of my truck camper this is what the other side looked like I've already started repairing it uh, from the little minor break I had on it I'll show you what happened over time this little piece of wood here this 2 by 2 well it totally rotted out down at the bottom must have had a small leak in there somewhere rotted this piece out all the way across so what I'm going to do is replace it from about up here okay with a little bit above the tail light I'm gonna put in a solid piece of 2x2 two two, and this will get screwed into these good ones here um, there's a screw there already I don't know if you can see it it's barely visible yeah there it is so um, I'll put a 2x2 two two there and I'll put a solid piece of plywood all the way across the bottom here that will strengthen that piece up again because this little molding was pulling out see this screw I didn't even have to take out to uh, get that piece of molding off of there so the rest of it seems to be in pretty good shape um, my tail light holder is in a good is in good shape and and there's really nothing back there um, that's just a little square that the tail light was put in so if I replace this 2 by down to here where this cross comes across and that comes all the way across the bottom um, of the camper from the door so I'm not gonna mess with that but I will come down to here I'll come down to here with the 2 by 2 replace that piece and then the whole bottom here, I will make that out of a sheet of a uh, section of plywood. That will give me good strength on that again. And then I can put all my paneling back on. Um, it's fairly easy to do, but it's. Uh, I don't really want to go up any higher than this because this piece of panel goes all the way across to the front. I have to pull this whole thing out and I don't even want to mess with that so uh, this will be a good enough fix it will keep my jack leg on here solid again I could even put a piece of aluminum in there rather than uh, rather than wood and then run some bolts through it rather than just the uh, screws that were in the wood okay so it's looking pretty good I put a new piece of wood right in here all the way up to there and I put a new piece of plywood down here and I glued that and screwed it in and so it will be real solid and then when I put the jack back on here like what's on the other side it will uh, once again be solid and hold steady before it was leaning and ripping out of the side of the rig so I had to do something so anyway that's about it I will have to get some caulk tomorrow at the store and uh, and fill in all those uh, places where the 
where the water can get in and put some more of the uh, plumber's tape on the outside corner so that it doesn't leak anymore and but then once I get that done it should be ready to go okay so I have all the siding put back on the door put back in and it's all solid very ready to receive the uh, jack the electric jack that goes on there like on the other side but I'm not going to do that until I get the new plumber's tape to seal up all the water leaks that can be on here and then I'll have to get some um, a caulk and caulk these um, places here I only put in a couple of screws to hold that trim on and uh, I'll get some caulk up under that and then that way I'll have no more problems here is another reason why I shot the video in vertical mode because you're seeing so much of everything around here you seeing my trailer over there and you know the rest of the truck which is not what I wanted to really focus on and to put this in the horizontal mode the way it looks good on YouTube it sounds like a great idea but um, you can't actually get the whole thing in shot so then it becomes a matter of just pulling in close up and seeing all this other extraneous stuff around anyway here we are with the finished product I've got uh, new plumbers putty all around it I didn't really clean it off that well yet but uh, it doesn't really matter it's not gonna leak anymore and it's solid I can pull on this and it's not going anywhere now before it was pulled right off and so this is all repaired it's all repaired back up there and all the way back up I'm very happy with it the other side is pretty much the same thing there I still need to put that little plastic cap on there but it really doesn't bother me <laughs> so there's the fitting down the bottom I still have to find that one remaining piece that I don't know where I laid it but I'll find it and put it back on in a little while too anyway that's the end of the project it's uh, solid again and I am happy